Hello, so this is number uh, 10, part 10 of class exercise number 6 with it. So we just finished um, doing the layout for um, activity underscore example 1 dot XML. This is what it looks like. Now if, I, if you recall all XML, XML file that you are laying out for the layout with it, there's three mode, there's the design, which is what we're looking at right now. The split looks like this uh, between the code and also what you do to the uh, design, you can also capture it's in the code. And of course, the third is the code uh, view with it as well. Now, just want to let you know, there's a reason why we have code view and versus design. You can't copy the design, but you can copy the code. You sure what I said? You can't copy the design or layout for it but you can copy this document, activity underscore example one dot XML. You can copy the code, copy this code to take this over to activity underscore example two dot XML. You can copy this code and paste into activity underscore example one, two, I'm sorry, two, three, four, and five, okay? So uh, that's what I'm going to show you what to do right now. So assuming that this is what we have here with it, but I, I, I don't want to copy this code yet, all right? Uh, because right now, if you look at, I want to make sure it works uh, first for the first one, and then if it works, we're going to copy it to the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and so on with it. So right now, this is activity underscore example one dot XML, and number two looks like this. It looks like this. It's a blank document, and if I went to the uh, the split uh, looks like this. This is it's totally different, right? So example, you could see between the two, uh, between here's one and here's two. So now, let me put both of them in the same view for you to see. This is the design of activity underscore example two, and this is uh, the design for that. So I want to toggle between the two with it. So you can't copy the design, but what you need to copy is the uh, code. So when we do this for, if it works up for the first time, I want you to copy over the code with, uh, uh, um, over an example two with it. So uh, how, how do we do that? All right, um, this is still number 10 with it. I'm, I'm going to uh, edit the uh, activity underscore example one dot XML right now with it. Uh, after you dragged over the text um, and gave it uh, the actual um, constraint size and, and layout width and, and the height with it, we, there's a second thing I need for you to do. Why don't you go ahead and collapse your layout category and expand your attribute for me, please. Uh, the first thing I need for you to do in this right now, when you look at your text field in here with it, um, if you can find um, the one that comes down where it says text size, if you scroll down uh, text size, it's alphabetical order, scroll to the bottom, with it and you should see it it says text size this one right here right now it's default to 14 s with it uh, if you can please go in and just put in I don't know uh, 22 for me okay uh, SP please okay and then if you come up and find the gravity I should have done you done the gravity first and then come down, right? Um, the gravity. That's right here. So once you click on the gravity for me, I like for you to come down and select the one that says center and um, click on that and it automatically checks the center horizontal and vertical for you. That makes it really nice with it as well. Okay. Um, come down and select your text for the second one with it, the, the text two one with it. Um, if you can come down and find that and click on that and do the center for that as well. Okay, so um, let's give that a, a gravity of center and also um, let's see your gravity, gravity, that one center. Okay, apply. So I just want to make sure clicked on the apply for the gravity for the first one. Okay, so the gravity for the first one, I didn't apply. Make sure you, you click on apply. Well, it's not going to apply. There it is. Yeah, I didn't click the apply button. You see how I did that? So you click on the flag, 
make sure you do, you check and then there's an apply button. I didn't click that, so I didn't pick it up the first time with it. Um, there is the button, uh, some of the buttons that we're going to cover here with it. So um, this is very important uh, for you to cover the buttons on here as well. So for the buttons with it, we need to change it to um, uh, the ID is called click me with it as well. All right. So come down and if you can click on the button right here for me with it. And if you recall, um, if you come up and find the ID, um, this is the button click me and the text. Uh, I need for you to change that text to, um, if you say click me with it as well. So hold on a second. So I, I want to make sure something before we don't miss this, okay? Um, before we move on with it. So the text here, it says button right here, all right? I would like for you to change that to click me. So um, it's just what, you know, it was part of the instruction is I want you uh, to change that, the for, that button on this layout and just click me with it. Um, and then I want you to come in and um, make sure you find the ID, 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 ID right here, button underscore click me, button lowercase underscore click lowercase uppercase the M in the me and lowercase the E. All right, so make sure you, you have that, that ex exact spelling with it. If you don't, it won't be able to identify this button with it. The second one that I need for you to uh, to change is the, the the second button on this one. This ID, I would like for you to call this button um, uh, what I call this button um, in my instruction. I've got um, this one ID is called back uh, button back. Okay, button button lowercase b u t t o n underscore back lowercase all right button underscore back b-a-c-k all right so um, that's the that's the id in the text if you scroll down to the down alphabet here in the text um, i want you to click all right so you once you click out of that it's going to ask you do you want to change it click on refactor that's going to change it and in the text i like for you to type in the word uh in the text of the attribute right here this is text and the value, I like to give it to you, just type in back for me, like that, okay? So that tells me, so this is, you need to have this or else that uh, you're, what you're about to do is not going to work. It can't find this button when it actually does this. All right, so this is, again, this is activity underscore example one dot XML, right? You have all this lined up right now. Uh, let's save this right now with it, and... Um, Hopefully, it should basically. Let me check um, um, uh, with it. We're going to do next is the uh, is the example uh, the board with it, right? So um, my next step is um, I'm going to actually pull the next one. Is I want us to take a look at is the uh, each one of these example one activity dot Java example two activity dot Java all the way down to five. All right. So here we go. We're gonna. I want you to open up activity underscore um, uh, uh, example one activity that Java. This is what we're gonna go into. I want us to take a look at this right now with it. So this is the example uh, that we have with it. Again, um, I mean, let me expand this right now in the uh, preprocessor. You're gonna keep the Android um, app and and the app compatibility activity with it. That's true with it. Of course, this is the package that you started with it all right so we're going to still keep that as well with it with it the five package that we um, use from the main uh, are the bundle um, the content intent that's the for the listening and the view and the other stuff that we're going to actually look at as well so um, I want us to to this you're going to modify each one of these again um, before I get too far with this hang on hold on Okay, so we're back to talking about the example one activity that Java, this file right here. All right, 
So this is what I have open right now. And again, the bundle that you're going to be um, including is one of them is the bundle. Uh, there's a total of five uh, library files that you're going to actually bring in. Uh, Bundle is one of them with it as well, but also the compatibility uh, activity in here as well with it. So um, we're going to actually add that in here. I have an extra bundle here. Let me, let me put all that out aside here. So these are all your, um, of course, they're grayed out from line 6 to 9 is because you haven't used it yet, right? You will in a second. Again, public class. Uh, example one activity note the name of the class has to be the name same name as your file name right so inside of this you're going to define uh, some variables with this thing so let me come down here and again the variables were the, uh, the four types of variables we're going to do is the button click me the uh, the button back the text view one and the text view two with it and they're all private with the with the data type that's also attached to this as well. So this is where we need to you know, define the variables in here uh, when we talk about this. So the override, again, I explained to you is the child's going to override the parent with it, right? But it's this uh, protected void um, on create. Uh, you can still use the bundle save instance for this right now with it. Uh, you're going to keep the superior on create save instance state with it. So this is going to be a, a super class that you're going to create on the, on the create with this thing with it. So what happens when you click on the activity, example activity, that first button, this is what it sends it to. It to all right? So we're going to create that. The second thing is you're going to keep the set content view, the R layout activity, for example, one with it, right? So this this is going to keep this layout activity uh, underscore example one. This one right here, this Java file is going to look at this layout right here, activity underscore one dot XML. All right, and I like for you when you look at this right here with it. Um, we, the next thing we need to do is we need to come in inside of this thing right now with it um, underneath the um, the this right here with it and hit enter with it. All right, uh, we need to find the text view by its ID. All right. Again, uh, how do we find things? We have to actually assign it to uh, that this object with it. So I'm going to, let me stop and I'll type this really quick. So it's this object. You're going to find the ID. I, I document it with us. Well, we need to find the three, uh, the other ID, text view ID, for the text view with it, uh, view two as well. So that was just view one. Make sure you put a semicolon after that, that first statement. The second one is going to be uh, find the text view two with, uh, with this object with it as well. Underneath this, um, come in and we're going to take a look at again, we need to the four buttons, the, uh, the three buttons, click me. And the back button on this as well with it. So um, I'm gonna get that, bring that in with it. Okay. So you got four of these. Again, you define the variables. You you find where the object is and assign it to the object to itself with it. So this is when it actually points to itself with it. So you got some parameters here right now with it. Now. We need still we're not we're not out of the woods yet. All this is inside nested inside of this on create bundle that you're you're doing right now with it, right? So I want to bring in the next uh, some of the intent uh, when we actually look at the uh, value for this and what it sends to the screen with it as well. So I documented this is again this is get intent function and this get intent function assigned to the object is intent. This intent right here is this intent. All right. So once this is intended, we're using the class uh, intent. Uh, you can actually create the object intent, and we call it uh, uh, intent. So this intent is now assigned to this text string right here. This literal of text one. Now it gets this literal and assigns it to the object. Now it's assigned to value one as the string. Um, so it, it converts the data type to uh, intended for the main activity. That's what you just sent it to. All right. Again, uh, this sets the sets the text object. Sets it means it writes to it the value one. This value one is this value one right here. So text one will be 
put inside of text view one. View value two, right here, is this value will store this string text two inside of this value two and pass across into this particular field. Okay, that's what it means by it. So the first thing we need to do is come in. I'm I'm still inside of the of of that particular function right now. Um, with it. So inside this function, I want to do the first, uh, the one, you know, the, when the user click on click me, remember that click me button with it, right? So what happens when, when we do that? Let me give me a second. I'm going to type this really quick. So when the user click click me button, all right. Again, that button called click me. Now use the method of set click me listener, and it's going to be listening. This is what the function between it is going to send. Uh, you click the button. That's the message that popped it up with it once you click on it, right? Uh, and then it ends it right here. Make sure you find again is the proper. Uh, this this line 52 is crucial, very important right here especially this parentheses right here, this right parentheses, make sure it's matching that you have the left parentheses and the right parentheses. Right curly brackets, left curly bracket, and it ends with a, um, a semicolon. So make sure line 52 is, is exactly what you have right here. So when you have a long click, which is the other one, it's not like a short click, a long click. So when the long click comes in with it, uh, you click on it, right? It sends in the message that goes into text two with it as well. All right, so uh, you cl you cl you long click the button with it, meaning you know with it. So uh, that's that's the other piece with it as well. We need to write the other two methods. That's called the back with it, right? So, so let me let me stop the video. Let me type really quick here. So this is the um, this is the back button. So same thing, you know, it's gonna it's gonna listen to the new button. It's called when you click on the back, the button ID is called button back, and it's gonna assign to this particular object with it. Again, override. Override means what? All the child nodes gonna be overriding the parent node with it. So all this is doing is taking it back to the example activity. So it takes it back to the finish. Uh, of this example to the previous uh, example activity with it as well. All right, so that's what this actually does with it. So make sure by the end of the day, uh, make sure that this is this block of code is this block of code right here. Make sure you have two uh, outer meaning. See how this is indented in. Make sure they pair up to your to your left one. So when I click on this one. All right, so see how that's highlighted at the right curly bracket? It should pair up with the left one up in line 19. When I click on the right curly brackets here, it pairs up to the left curly brackets up in line 11. So that's why I want you to understand is make sure you have that all properly done right now with it, okay? Now, save everything you have. Well, it's already saved already, so that's a nice thing with this compiler with it. You don't have to periodically save it, right? So when, I, I'm, when I'm going to run this thing, run app, I want to catch it on the next one because it's 16 minutes already. I'm going to stop the video right now.